Hey Dons, welcome back to CCTV. I hope you all had a wonderful week and are ready for an awesome weekend. The drama production Dead Man Walking opens tonight. Every student has one free ticket to the show if you redeem your student ID on the website, so make sure to claim your ticket. We have some upcoming service opportunities, so let's go to KJ to hear some more. What's up, Dons? I'm KJ, and I'm here with Miss Prepare. So, Miss Prepare, tell me what Service Saturdays are. So, Service Saturdays are something we started this year, um, basically one Saturday a month. Our community will be going out um, to volunteer at different organizations throughout San Diego County and even in Mexico one or two times this year. Tell me what you guys have planned for Service Saturdays. So, in September, we did a beach cleanup. Um, this month, we are going to Catholic Charities to work in their food bank. Um, we are going to take a trip to Mexico in November uh, to go to an orphanage, and we're hoping in December to go Christmas caroling at a retirement home. So, And we have different things planned for next semester as well. How long are the services on Saturday? So it really depends on what we're doing. Um, when we did the beach cleanup, it was about two hours. Catholic Charities will be about two hours. When we go to Mexico, that will probably be a full day of service. And so the way we'll communicate with you, just keep an eye on the newsletter, keep an eye on student emails. The month of the service, we will email the whole student body and say, hey, this is coming up. If you're interested, please sign up. And so look for that in your emails, look for it in the newsletter. Thank you, back to the anchor room. Thanks, KJ. There's an SAT tomorrow. So if you're signed up, rest up. This year, Cathedral will be participating in a Spanish immersion trip. Let's send it off to Alexis to learn more. Hey Dons, it's Alexis Friedman here with Mr. Fernandez and Miss Stevenson to learn a little bit more about the Spain immersion trip. So Mr. Fernandez, how will students benefit from taking this trip? I, in my opinion, it will enhance your ability not only to learn the language. Once you go to the country and experience the language firsthand, culture and language go hand in hand, they cannot be separated. It would only motivate you m more to come back and do better, not only learn the language, but as enjoy learning about the culture of the Spanish-speaking world. And Ms. Stevenson, what are some of the highlights of this trip? Some of the highlights in this trip is going to Madrid and visiting the Real Madrid Stadium and as well the Prado Museum, which is, is second to the Louvre as a world-class museum. And also going to Barcelona and going to the Barca Stadium. Thank you both so much. Thanks, Alexis. This Wednesday is the All School Testing PSAT Day. And for seniors, there's no school, so enjoy the day off. Now here's Mia for our social media update of the week. Hey Dons, it's Mia. I hope you are all having a great week and are ready for an even better weekend. As you know, we are all very fortunate to be attending an Apple Distinguished School, so we are all blessed with technology like the iPads. And as a faith community, we have an obligation to be responsible online. So what is the purpose of having this technology readily available to students? The purpose is to give our students the best tools available so they can be successful in our digital world and ultimately be responsible digital citizens. But with great privilege comes great responsibility. The expectation is that you use the iPad as an educational tool. That's what it is. It's an educational device, so anytime you're on it, anything you should be doing should be educational in nature. Yeah. And off campus, it's the same. Ultimately, your behavior should be educational if you're using the iPad. So what are the consequences for misconduct online, both on and off campus? Well, it really depends on how it was misused and if the student was proactive or reactive. So if the student comes to us ahead of time and says, you know, somebody sent me something inappropriate or I sent this out but I feel really bad about it, I, I made a mistake, uh, then we try to work with the student to resolve any sort of conflict uh, that may have arisen from it. Uh, if we happen to find it out through someone else, then we have to take a little bit more serious measures. Plus it does depend on, on what inappropriate um, messages were used or technology was used. As far as outside uh, of the school, if the San Diego police does have to, to get involved, they'll conduct their own investigation and they have their own set of laws and policies they have to follow. Well, everything you post online is available to everybody, so that includes your colleges that you're going hoping to go to. Over the summer, there was an article about a group of students who lost 
their admission to Harvard. So they had posted something in a private group chat that somehow people found out about and they were not able to go to Harvard. So we know misconduct online can have big consequences, but what is our ethical responsibility as Catholics to behave online? All Catholics, Christians, or really any good person um, should follow the principle of life and dignity of the human person. And that means that everybody deserves respect. And so if there's anything on the internet that you're putting out there that disrespects another person, it should be taken down. Or if you're about to post something that would violate that, mm -hmm. you should consider not posting it um, because it doesn't respect that person. It comes down to making good decisions. So whether you're using the iPad or using your cell phone, you need to make good decisions. So just think about what you're doing before you do it. Think before you post, think before you comment, and just remember if it's not something you'd be comfortable for everybody in the world to read, don't post it. Good morning, Dons, and welcome back to CCTV Sports. Your Dons have had an awesome week, so let's get right into the scores. The Lady Dons tennis team beat La Jolla High School 10-8 in an awesome match on Tuesday. Great job, girls. The girls' golf team also beat La Jolla High School. Their final score was 207 to 269, and this week they also beat Patrick Henry High School 228 to 274. They have been having a great season, so keep it up, girls. Your boys' water polo team also beat La Jolla High School 9 to 8 in their game on Tuesday. Great job, boys! Now off to Lily, who caught up with a cross country team. Hey, Dons, it's Lily Knutson here with Joaquin and Elle, two of our varsity cross country members. So, Joaquin, how are the boys looking this year? This year, the team's looking really good. We have a lot of sophomores that have stepped up since we've lost a lot of seniors last year. Um, every race, I'm surprised by how well these sophomores do. We also have a senior, Tyler Sweeney, who's really stepping it up. So, this year, we definitely want to go for CIF champs, and we want to do really well at state this year. Great. And Elle, how are the girls looking? Um, we're looking pretty good. We lost a lot of seniors, but we have a lot of seniors this year that are making up for it. And we just got a new freshman, so hopefully they help out. Great. And what does a typical practice look like? Uh, typically, we run or do a workout f in the beginning of practice, and then we'll stretch, do core, and then go to the weight room. Great. And Joaquin, what's your favorite thing about being on the cross-country team? So my favorite thing about being on the cross-country team is just the team itself. Um, especially the guys and for the girls. Everyone's really close. You know, we really we joke around on runs. We have a really good time. So honestly, the team chemistry is the best part of, about cross country. And Elle, what are some of your goals for the season? Um, our goals for the season are to win league, hopefully win CIF, and qualify for state. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Thanks, Lily. Your girls volleyball team beat OLP 3 to nothing. Two notable players in this match were Hannah Mackenhausen and Lindsay Miller. And the team is now 9-4 and four in their season. Great job, girls. Finally, your boys football team beat Olympian High School 28-3. Touchdowns were scored by Ryan Kilpatrick, Caleb Price, Colin Myers, and Peyton Rizanka. Nice win, boys. There is a game today at Madison High School and kickoff is at 6.30, so make sure to cheer on the boys. Great week this week, Dons. Keep on winning, enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you next week. Homecoming 2017 is coming up. The dance will be held in the gym on October 14th. The theme is You're the Dawn That I Want, A Night in the 50s. Every student has one ticket that is included in your student activity card, part of your tuition. To redeem this ticket, go on the website and underneath the student tab, fill out your information on the homecoming link. Hope to see you there. That's a wrap for this week, Dawns. CCTV, signing off. <laughs>